Across five southern states, there are more reports of gas stations running empty, spiking prices, and drivers lining up to fill up. The gasoline pipeline spill in Alabama has disrupted supplies in Alabama, Georgia, Tennessee, and the Carolinas. I am on empty. Look, see? Look. Empty, empty yellow light. So you have you been driving around looking for gas at this point? This is my fourth gas station. I drive about 500 miles a week as a wine sales rep, so gas is kind of important for my job. So I'm just filling up this old truck here. Tanker trucks are bringing gas in the pipeline's place, with drivers quickly lining up when they see one reach a station. I guess I lucked out. I really did. Somebody was, was watching over me because I don't know, I wouldn't have been able to make it home. <laughs> AAA says the average price for a gallon of gas in North Carolina went up 11 cents since last week. Higher prices are also reported in Tennessee, South Carolina, and Georgia. I paid $2.40 yesterday. I had to pay $2.59 a gallon. So I just went ahead and filled it up. Some drivers say they're buying as much gas as they can when they can. I had to get some gas for an extra week because they said it might be two weeks, so I'm scared. Georgia's governor issued an executive order on Monday to prevent price gouging. He's also urging drivers not to panic. If they just maintain their normal driving patterns and their travel patterns and their consumption of gasoline in terms of when they fill their vehicles up, I think we'll be able to get through this without too many interruptions. At least 250,000 gallons of gasoline leaked from the pipeline in central Alabama. Colonial Pipeline says it's working around the clock to fix the problem. Sandy Kozell, The Associated Press.